Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to automate web application by using web form filling actions. In that, we have seen how to fill the data by using web form filling actions. And also we have seen how to work with launch new Chrome action, focus test field on web page, populate text field on web page, select radio button, set checkbox on web page. And after that, we have seen set drop down list value on web page. And finally, we have seen how to press a button on page. Now, in this tutorial, I will explain the entire project for the data entry by using Excel automation actions as well as web automation actions for web form filling. All right, let me open the registration form once again. If you see over here, I'm having employee name, employee number, gender, departments, address, contact number, job location, designation, email, all these 11 fields I have. Now to enter the data into this web application, what I will do, I want to insert the data or I want to enter the data entry concept over here by using an Excel. All right, let me show you an Excel, which I'm having all kind of data related to the columns. If you see over here on my screen that I'm having employee name, employee number, gender, and the departments which the particular employee has been working. And also you can see the address, contact number, and the job location, and respective designation of the particular employee, and the email ID. I'm having all the data over here in the Excel. Now what I want to do from this Excel, I want to enter the data. It's a kind of data entry project I want to do in the web application that is in the employee registration form. All right, I'm very excited over here to make you to understand how we are going to do this thing by using Excel as well as web automation actions. All right, over here, if you see, I'm not going to explain much over here. I will just show you how I have designed the flow over here and how it will works. All right. First of all, to read the data from this Excel, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use launch Excel. Launch Excel, we are going to use to open the Excel. If you see the parameters over here, I'm launching an Excel, which is already having the following document. And I have given the document path over here. And then I'm going to store the instance in the Excel instance that is the flow variable. All right. Let's click on save. Now, once we are going to launch an Excel, I'm going, I want to read the data which are there in the worksheet. How can I go ahead and read that? By using read from Excel worksheet. Let's double click on that. Over here, I'm going to give retrieve from a range of cells. I'm going to read the entire range from A2 to K10. I'm having all the rows of data and I'm going to store that data in the Excel data, data table that is variable produced. All right, let me click on save. Now, after reading the data from the Excel, now I want to loop each and every employee which is there in the Excel data. How can I go ahead and loop that? There I'm having for each loop. In for each loop, what I have done, I have taken the Excel data and the current employee I'm going to store in the current employee flow variable. All right. Now, I got the current employee details. Like in a such a way, if you see, I'm having employee name, Amir, employee number, mail, and the department and address and all these details, I got it into the current employee of that particular row. Now, our web application will start. Now, we have to launch the new Google Chrome. All right. Now, if you see over here, these are all the actions I have already explained in the previous video. If you have not watched that, please watch that video before watching this video. All right. Now let's click on launch new Chrome. Over here, I'm going to provide the initial URL over here with launch mode as launch new instance. Because of over here, we can use it two way like attach to running instance. But to make you understand, I'm going to use launch new instance only. And you can see the window state is maximized. Let me click on save. Now, to work with these web form filling actions, I need to capture the UI elements, right? How can I go ahead and do that? As a first step, 
that we can go for the UI elements group over here on the right hand side. Let's click on that. You can see over here, I have captured all the UI elements which are related to the web application. If not, you can go ahead and you can click on add UI element and then you can go ahead and you can tracking the session by using tracking session, you can track the all the UI elements which are available in the web application. All right, let me close this. In a such a way, I have captured all the UI elements like submit button, employee number, checkbox, radio button, drop downs, and whatnot. Now, if you observe over here, for the focus test field, what is that focus test field? I need to focus on the employee name. And after that, I want to populate the text field on web page to give the employee name. All right. Now, how can I go ahead and do that? If you double click on this populate text field on web page over here, you can see I'm going to select current employee of column one. What is that column one? If you see over here, column one is nothing but Amir Basha P. That is for the employee name. And the record has been started from the A2 to K10. All right. Now, Amir Basha having column one, that data I'm going to give it over here as current employee of column one. And after that, I'm going to give emulate typing. Let's click on save. Now, if you see over here, the second one employee number in the same way, I'm going to give column two, which is related to the employee number. Now we'll come to the gender. If you see over here, the gender is the radio buttons, right? Male and female or the radio buttons in the web application, correct? Now for that, what I'm going to do, if you see over here, in the web automation, I'm going to use if condition activities, conditional activities. If the current employee of the column three equal to male, then I'm going to select select radio button on the web page and I'm going to give the UI element as over here as gender male. You can see over here, I'm going to select gender male over here. All right. Now let's click on save. In the same way, if gender column three is called female, then I'm going to select the radio button that is related to the female. All right. In the same way, what I'm going to do for the column four, five, six, these are the related to the departments. If you see over here, four, five, six, these are all the departments so that I want to check each and every row over here and I want to enable that checkbox. That is nothing but checkbox check. Now, if you see over here, for if current employee of column six is equal to software, then set checkbox, I'm going to give it as department software. If it is IT department, then I'm going to give it as IT department over here. If it is medical department, then I'm going to do medical department. Over here, I'm going to use only if condition. I'm not going to use else if condition over here. Only in the situation of male and female, I'm going to use if else if condition action. All right. Now, for the text area, for the address purpose, I'm going to use populate text field and I'm going to select column seven over there from the Excel. And after that, for the contact number also, I'm going to use populate text field on web page action to get the mobile number over there or the contact number. Now, if you see over here in my Excel, I'm having job location and the designation. These are all the two drop downs which I'm having as part of the web application. If you see over here in my job location, I'm having drop down over here, which are related to Chennai, Bangalore, all the location, job location and the designation. We are having systems engineers, engineer system engineers, project manager and etc. Right. The same thing I'm going to give it in the job location, which is eight and nine. And then what I'm going to do based on that, I'm going to select the value over there. If you see over here, set drop down list value on web page that is related to the column nine and column 10. What I'm going to do, what are the UI element I have captured? Okay, select based on the operation, select option by name. I'm going to provide the details over here in the option name as current employee of column nine. In the same way, for the designation also, I'm going to use the same kind of thing as column 10. And you can see option name that is current employee column 10. And if you see over here operation, select options by name. All right, let's click on save. Now, if you see, I'm going to use populate text field on web page also. 
that for the email purpose okay i'm going to get this email from the column 11 once the entire data has been filled in the particular application then i'm going to click on the press button on the web page all right so press button over here if you see i'm going to click on submit and then we'll get another page thank you all right now once the press button has been clicked on then you know it says thank you then i'm going to close this browser this entire actions that I'm going to do from 3 to 3 to 28, I'm going to repeat until the particular Excel data has been read totally. And this is the way how I'm going to dynamically filling the data into the web application by using data entry way. And also by using Excel automation as well as the web automation, both I'm going to use to enter the data or data entry inside the web application. All right. Once the entire data has been filled, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the Excel by using close Excel, Excel action. All right, now we are ready with our flow and, and I'm very excited to show you the output. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been started. And you can see over here, it is started launching web application. And you can see it's populated employee name as Amir and it has been given employee number, departments, gender, address, contact number, job location, job location, designation, email ID. And if you see, this is the repetitive process, right? Now it is going to enter Swati and you can see, I'm not going to do anything over here. It's automatically filling, it's automated way, right? It is filling the data automatically. Now, the third employee, it will go ahead. And you can see Teja and the employee number 100126 and the location is Pune and as a designation systems engineer. All right. Now, it it's goes on infinity way until the entire data has been filled from by using Excel sheet. All right, this is the automated way. I'm not going to do anything over here. You can see how much faster it is, how it is going to enter the data inside the web application. You can see all the details, right? You can see only this Ashutosh having software department over here. And you can see the email ID, different email IDs. I'm not going to do a single email over here. You can see right now, I'm going to take Geetanjali Rao, 100129, she is female. IT department and Chennai and the contact number and whatnot. The same way Sarath, employee ID, mail, departments IT, job location Pune, designation systems engineer and click on submit. Right? This is a continuation. I have taken few of the rows only. I have taken 10 to 10 rows to insert the data into the web application. All right. Now, finally, I'm having Angelina, employee ID 100132, female, departments, medical and software, address Bangalore, job location Bangalore, designation te technology analyst. And finally, it's and click on the submit button. And finally, we have seen how to close a web browser and how to close an Excel by using Excel automation as well as the web automation actions. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to extract the data from the web application by using web data extraction actions. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.